I have already I have already defined my data loader and I am going to utilize that already defined data loader. Okay, instead of train data set, let me make it data set and number of worker should be self num worker instead of zero. Bad size is eight. Okay. Bad size. And I believe this is enough. Next thing I want to have our training step. In training step, we got the video and the label from the data loader. So let's define video from my label from the batch. Actually, train data loader return a batch. This will return a batch which we can access here. In the batch, we have video and we have label. Next, we fed the video to the model out equal to self video this self is basically this forward function you can define self dot forward or you can simply define self up to you next we will pass this output predicted prediction output and the ground truth to the criterion which is actually my loss function self dot criterion out to my label and I am also going to pass this information to my metric self dot metric out to my label there is one thing to mention that the torch metric accept the label in the form of integer so I have to convert this into integer next I am going to return both of these things as loss and metric okay but for the metric I am going to also detach the metric from the GPU and move it to the CPU next I am going to use train epoch n and what will train epoch n is that the training step will return the output in the form of batches this will take the loss and accuracy from all the batches and average them and we are going to use this comprehension for that this will take the output very outputs variable and in each output variable which is actually a list of list so in each sub list we have loss and metric so we are going to use this comprehension to get the loss and metric values from each sub list you can say that and after that i am going to stack them and convert them into torch instead of having a list so i am going to use torch dot stack after that I convert I take the mean of this stack torch variable convert this to CPU and convert this to numpy and after that take the round just for the simplicity and the same thing I will do with the metric the in the metric we have to just replace the loss with the metric and the rest of thing will remain the same and after that i can print my validation loss and i can also log it self dot log and here we can do val loss loss from uh, i can log the loss i can also log the metric actually sorry it's training not the validation and here we have training training loss, training metric and here instead of loss we can find as metric okay I think this is enough for the training part the same thing I am going to do in the validation part I am just copying it and literally pasting it so no more hustle, no more issue Okay, I have to copy this. 
this type of training loss now this time this is the time for validation loss and the same thing will i will go for the test data loader actually we do not define the test data frame but we can utilize the validation data frame both for validation and for test you can divide the data frame into three parts such as training validation and test and then you can also use the test data frame here but let's say it's for learning purpose so we can only go with two sets that is training and validation okay the test set will be a bit how different maybe i am only i'm not going to calculate the criterion not going to calculate the metric i'm just going to have the label and the predicted value And I'm also going to detach the label from the Q dot ID. Okay, this is, and now I am going to get the label, and I can use torch dot cat instead of torch dot stack. And now this is your assignment. You have to find, tell me in. You need to tell me what is the difference between stack and concatenation, and why I use stack and why I use concatenation. So it's your task. to let you the difference between these two you can also learn what is the difference between the horizontal stacking vertical stacking concatenation simple stacking and the things like that convert it into cpu then convert it into numpy the same thing will be i will do with the prediction also after that i will see which prediction is greater than 0.5 and which is less than 0.5 all those prediction which is greater than 0.5 will be assigned a value 1 and all those prediction having value less than 0.5 will be assigned a value as 0 and this is done by numpy pair and after that i am going to use the classification report which i have imported earlier and let's utilize that okay got an error in the scheduler so let me see what is the error okay here we need to have a comma 